Next up, we want to complete the molecular orbital diagram for C n minus and determine the bond order. Um, so for carbon, if I just look at the periodic table really quickly, carbon has six electrons and nitrogen has seven plus one electrons. So I'm going to have six electrons on the carbon side and eight electrons to distribute on the nitrogen side. Which means that if I draw my MO diagram with potential energy and I have carbon and N minus, one S, two S, two P, Let's fill in our electrons. So for carbon, I have six, two, four, six. Nitrogen, I have eight. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Okay, now I go about uh, filling in my molecular orbitals. And then filling in the electrons, so I'll count the two, and two, two, and two. Here I'll have two, four, six electrons to distribute. So that is going to be two, four, six. If I just want to quickly um, write in the labels for all of the orbitals. So those are the labels for my atomic orbitals. The labels for my molecular orbitals will be sigma antibonding, sigma, antibonding, pi, sigma, antibonding, pi, antibonding, sigma. And that is it. Next up, I want to determine the bond order. And that is going to be the number of electrons in, bo in bonding orbitals minus the number in of electrons in antibonding orbitals all over two. And so my bonding orbitals, I have one, two, three, four. So two, four, six, eight, ten. So ten in bonding orbitals minus the two, four in antibonding orbitals over two. And that is going to be six over two, so three. And that's going to be it for this question.